Here we are. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. As we wait for people to pop on, we have a really good, good amount of stuff to cover today. So I don't know if I should, maybe I should do the standing up. We'll see how it goes as we wait for people to pop on, for Facebook to populate. All right, I'm starting to see. Okay, here we go. Now we have three people. Hi, Randall. Nice to see you. If you guys want to, uh, again, as we're waiting for people to pop on for a minute, say where you're coming in from. Morning from Wisconsin. Did you say that you lived in, is it Jane, Janesville? I used to live in Madison, and so we would drive through Janesville sometimes. I think it's Janesville that you live in, and it's so cute. Hi, Corey, coming in from uh, Florida. Hi, Gina. Gina's Connecticut. All right. Oh, we have so many good things to talk about today. Hi, Kelly. On your way to the gym, driving in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, do we have some stuff for you, Kelly? Joelle says she's here. How do I add you, Joelle? I was trying to add Joelle. How do I do this? I invited you. Did you see that, Joelle? Otherwise, I don't know if I know how to go back and invite. I was trying to invite Joelle to come on live with me. I actually invited her to drive over, but she said, I don't have time, but I'll go live. But I don't know if I know how to do it now. All right, we're gonna get started. Sorry, Joelle, I don't, I, I did it in the beginning, but I, I guess you didn't see it or I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this part works. <laughs> okay. Yes, somebody, somebody said yes. Okay, anyway, you guys, we gotta, we gotta get moving on because we have a lot of stuff to cover. The most important thing that I want, no, not most important, this is all so good. I don't know why these are, okay, so now I can start to see them again. All right, let's get going. Um, I wanna talk about, uh, hopefully that you've all seen my little video that I did on the top 10 oils. And I've talked in other videos about the power of On Guard being the number one anti, <laughs> And it's so powerful because it's got that cinnamon, that clove, wild orange, rosemary, all of those amazing properties. And, you know, I mentioned this once that when they did a cleaning study, put it on the countertop, they couldn't grow bacteria, including salmonella, for eight days. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out, Joelle, like when we're just playing with it, we'll figure it out and then we'll get you on another video. All right, so because of that, and because of the influenza study that I sent you to in PubMed, uh, because of how powerful it was, doTERRA put it in so many things. And we actually have a whole On Guard collection. I brought a lot of them down. I grabbed a lot, I was grabbing a lot of things. Obviously we have the, the uh, 15 milliliter On Guard oil, which I showed you, you can put under your tongue. They actually put this into little beadlets I know I threw a beadlet in my basket, but I'm not, oh, there it is. They have little beadlets, and that's about a third of a drop of oil. I'll put a beadlet in my hand. Oh, this is not open yet. Um, this is good when, because you know, my kids didn't want to bring On Guard to school. So if somebody's sneezing around them or, you know, and they want to feel protected, to be protected, and they didn't want to smell like oils, they love the smell of oils, but, <laughs> um, I'll share a funny story. So that's what a beadlet looks like. This is a funny story. My son, when he was in eighth grade, so he was in junior high, this is the one that's now in college. I got a phone call from the school nurse. You know, Ian's in the nurse's office and he doesn't feel well. I said, what's wrong? And she said, well, he feels nauseous. He has a stomach ache. And um, so what else? Oh, and he had, did he have a sore throat? Um, it was mostly, I think, a stomach ache. So I said to my husband, let's go. This is going to be fun. So I go in with my oils. Kelly says, I love the beadlets. I know, seriously, they're so good. Um, and I went back to Ian. Ian, how are you doing? Okay. And he, he's, I said, Ian, this is not about getting out of that math test. Is it? And he started to cry. He's like, Mom, I feel so bad. So I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. 
we're gonna go through this and I want you to, to stop the nausea. We took peppermint, as I showed you in the video, and we put a little bit on the roof of his mouth. That's gonna knock out the nausea right away. Then we put Digestin on his tummy and peppermint. And then I took some On Guard and put it under his tongue. And I said, we're gonna slowly go through this and we're going to go through it this twice. So it took about 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, he felt better. And he was headed back to class. And the nurse is looking at us like, what did you just do? Because he, I mean, the nurse's office was full that day. Every cot was full. And Ian pulls his little oils out of his pocket and his jeans. And he said, well, it's the oils. And she didn't know what oils were. She was a little bit freaked out. She was like, what? Um, she goes, well, um, maybe those should stay here with me because other kids don't know what they are. And I said, no, it's actually, it's fine. He can take the oils to class. And she let him. And I remember him going from crying in the nurse's office to walking down the hall. Again, this was several years ago. This was, now they, you know, you'd have to, <laughs> we're in a whole new world, right? You'd go home right away. It wouldn't even be a thing. But this was about five years ago. He was walking down the hall and he was like, I feel so good. He went from crying in the nurse's office to feeling good. And that's literally the power of the oils. And I kind of, it's kind of fun when you, when somebody observes it that doesn't know about oils and you kind of blow their mind. So uh, other things that we keep in the house, and we did a thorough uh, class yesterday on oral health care. So we talked about the mouthwash and the toothpaste and this actually, so all these On Guard products right now are so in demand that there's limits on some of them. So for example, the, the laundry detergent, what's the most toxic room in your house? You think it's the bathroom? It's actually the laundry room. So those dryer sheets, you don't even want to touch because um, actually that some of them say, do not touch them with your bare hands right on them. And then we're putting them all over our clothes and putting them all over our bodies. So upgrading your laundry room, I use dryer woolly balls. And on that, I put purify essential oil. And that's how I I don't use dryer sheets. We don't use dryer sheets, we use this. I use a little bit of um, something called laundry wash and I use borax. These are the things that I keep in my laundry room and I might put some of that in the laundry with some of the On Guard laundry detergent. And then this is the house cleaner. So we don't wanna be cleaning all of our surfaces, especially if you have little kids that are crawling all over and touching this stuff with toxic chemicals. So in your home, you wanna upgrade it and make sure that you're cleaning with non-toxic um, cleaners. So this is something that I love. Nope, this is the hand wash. I don't have the cleaner down here. Um, come back to the cleaner. This is the hand wash and this is the foaming hand wash. They go in every single bathroom so that you don't have to worry about all those really toxic things like Purell and all, all the things that you see people pumping when they walk into stores. You're just like, oh my goodness. You guys, this is so dangerous. They are so toxic. They're gonna wipe out your immune system. And so when you can get something natural and upgrade, so we put this in every single bathroom. Then our cleaner, it's, it's in a bottle similar to this, and you make it into a spray bottle. It's so cool because it's a cleaner concentrate. You can literally put just two tablespoons and then the rest water, and then you can spray. So I do have a house cleaner. Um, I, she comes on Fridays. And one, her name is Robin. She's actually on her way to there, here. <laughs> I told her I was on, told her I was live downstairs and I put all of her cleaning supplies upstairs. And uh, when I first switched over to this, I said, okay, Robin, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't think it's going to work on like mirrors and stuff cause it's got oil in it. But she went in and she cleaned my kid's mirror, which is really big. And she, so, she was so excited. She came out, she's like, you have to see this. Like this didn't smear at all. This worked beautifully on mirrors. So a little bit of vinegar and water, a little bit of On Guard, and literally that's all you need when it comes to cleaning your house. Baking soda, yes, lemon essential oil to kind of get like the tricky stuff out. Um, staff always looks at you funny when you uh, don't allow them to sanitize your carriage or your hands. Yeah, I just, you bring your own, right? You go pump gas, you bring your own hand sanitizer. I say, no thanks, I have my own, and then I just use mine. So it's way, way, way less toxic. Okay, uh, what else does, I, I couldn't find my hand sanitizer. So we, doTERRA makes these little hand sanitizer, I think they're $6.50 if you have a wholesale account. I can't keep them in my house. I was literally looking for them before I did this video and I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't find a hand sanitizer again because they're gone. It's a hot commodity in this house. In the summertime, the hot commodity is the bug spray and 
And in the winter, like right now, the hot commodity is the hand sanitizer. So they come in these little pump pumps. Um, speaking of the bug, well, I won't go into the bug spray. We'll do that in the summertime. Um, so anyway, the collection of On Guard is absolutely an amazing, amazing collection. And um, can't, can't say enough about it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to move into, we're going to go into fitness. And then we're going to finish up with light therapy. And then I'll take any questions that you guys pop up. Okay, fitness. All right, so Kelly, I love it. Was it Kelly that said, said that, Francisco? That you're on the way to the gym. I love that. I, last year, was taking a, what was I taking? Um, a vegan bodybuilding online course. And I was super committed. All right, I'm gonna admit something out loud. I've never, ever admitted on camera, okay? I don't like to eat. <laughs> and I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like some people are, but I have to eat, I eat. But some people are stress eaters and they eat. And when I'm stressed, I don't eat. And I love, I love, I love things that change your body. Like I love getting, I, I teach classes sometimes called getting into epic state. And I love hot therapy, I love cold therapy, I love like, for example, being in a hot tub and then rolling around in the snow. I love being in the bathtub and then standing up and taking an icy cold shower. I finish every shower every day with icy cold water. I did that years ago to seal in the heat. Turns out it ups your metabolism, it turns on your um, immune system. Like there's so many crazy benefits. Maybe I'll post that for you guys. I actually did a live on one of my Green Girls Glow. Michelle, if you're watching, let's uh, grab that video and post it so that these guys can see it. I did, I did it live. I showed you how I actually end every single cold shower and it's fantastic for immunity. Um, so I love changing state, changing the state of the body. I love getting an epic state. I love really long uh, workouts like a hike or a bike or something like that. If I'm doing my planning for the year, I love getting into epic state by um, doing something that makes me feel really good. My body physically feel really, really good. So I might go on a really intense bike or a really intense workout. I might spend a half a day at the spa and it, because if you're gonna plan your next year and you want to be the highest version of you, you shouldn't do it when you're feeling crappy. So it shouldn't be forced, it should actually be fun. It should, you should go to a place that you love or a place in your house and turn everything else off. And you know, that's how I like to get into epic state. Okay, so, so um, <laughs> I love that video. Carla, which one, the, the shower, the cold shower video? Um, so food is like, it's so time consuming. <laughs> and this is why I'm really an intermittent faster. I love intermittent fasting because you can skip breakfast for sure. You can skip lunch if you want to and just eat one meal a day. And I do love being in the kitchen with my family at the end of the day. I do love unwinding. I do love eating. Um, but I, there's so many things to do during the day. Like the day is so fun. <laughs> there's so many people to talk to. There's so many things to do. So many walks to go on so much time in nature, you know, grounding and touching trees and getting into epic state. That food is just, it's so time consuming. So the hardest thing about that raw vegan bodybuilder challenge was getting was getting enough food. I had to eat three meals a day. They actually, I think, want yeah, the shower. Um, yeah, you guys like the icy cold shower. Peggy, I've been doing the icy cold shower for years, right? I've been talking about that at the Raw Fitness Institute. For those of you guys who don't know Peggy Huff, I call her my second mom, but she was my right hand at the Raw Food Institute. She was my assistant for many, many, many years. And then when her business kind of started uh, needing her, requiring her. She wasn't there for the, like, I don't know, for a few sessions. And then she came back again and everybody was like, ah, the legendary Peggy Huff. So the legendary Peggy Huff, um, is, is on the call <laughs> today. We love, we love Peggy Huff. Um, we do things at the Raw Food Institute. Peggy, I think you and Joelle, you guys were there. Joelle, you know, here's why I wanted you to come on. Maybe I'll have you I don't know, tomorrow I have to do my wrap up session and I'm gonna like re re review everything, but maybe I'll have you on in the beginning, Joelle, because um, I was gonna have Joelle and I share all with you like for five minutes or so at the top of this, like how many crazy weird stuff that we've done in the name of health. And um, I, won't <laughs> I won't reveal it. Oh my God, we've done some things. You know, like Joelle, remember that thing that, that Josh acts morning cleanse that we did? We were going to, uh, you're supposed to drink warm water with salt in under 10 minutes. And we were like, okay, well, we'll do this little pick me up and beyond with our, our, oh my God. When you like do a quart of salt water, warm salt water, we were both laying on the floor. We thought we were going to vomit. We were like, 
Uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, we, we like to get together. This is what I do with my girlfriends. We get together and we do crazy stuff, like crazy face masks, and then we'll put in a movie and you know cry our eyes out and have a girls' night. And that's my kind of fun. Yeah, that's my kind of fun. <laughs> we have some some girl stuff coming up, don't we, Joelle? So anyway, lots of and Peggy Peggy was there for the sauna sh sauna scene. I won't go into that. I'll just leave it right there, Peggy. And uh, maybe Joelle and I will talk about it another time. You know, like what happens at the Rawford Institute stays at the Rawford Institute. So <laughs> what happened? What I say on these calls stays right here, right, guys? Okay, so I want to talk to you about the exercise. Favorite gadgets. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into a couple. I have like I have some gadgets over here, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can't. Can you see that? No, no, that's my couch. <laughs> oh, I can't show you. I'll show you in a minute. I have some gadgets. We're gonna go into gadgets in just a second. All right. Oh, I screwed this up. Okay. Can you guys see? All right. Um so when the gyms first shut down right? I was in six months into this vegan bodybuilder thing and I was getting results. Like the results were really cool and it shut down and I started, I, I started going to park fit out. Okay. My very first business when my kids were little was called park fit outdoor fitness for women. And it was this movement through a park and I could, I did it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I could drop my kids off at preschool. I could go to the park, teach a fitness class so I could get my fitness in, got paid a little bit. Instead of paying to work out, I got paid, I got paid, they paid me. And Tanya, it's so good to see you. Tanya and I went to IIN together in 2006 and seven, and we were like this. We were, we were inseparable buddies, and we would go to lunch together, and we'd sit together, and we'd hang out together, and I've been on a radio show, and we talk, and she does powerful things through the years too. So um, really, this is a cool, like, I didn't tell you guys that Joelle ran for Senate. I, I was, the day I had her on, I was like, oh, I forgot to tell you, to, to tell you them that you just run for Senate. So I love having super cool people in your life, my life, as you can see. Um, I have people that go do epic stuff and that's the kind of people we want to surround ourselves with, right? People that are happy for our success and people that we are happy for their success, right? I shared all that about Joelle and I've shared stuff about Tanya. Um, so surrounding yourself, this is part of immunity too, surrounding yourself with people that lift you up, not beat you down. Okay, so if you have people that aren't happy for your success and are like gossipy and like, nah, 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 nah. Um, no, we don't know. We need to put some distance in our lives with those kind of people and we need to be around. I'm getting the hearts on that one. Everybody's like, amen, <laughs> hearts on that one. Um, so when the gym shut down, I started doing park fit outdoor fitness for women and there's a park across the street from my house, like a minute by car and I would drag my husband out there my poor my poor husband <laughs> the stuff that he has to do because he's married to me the things he gets for Christmas that I really want like mini trampolines you know <laughs> so I dragged him out there um hey Rachel hey Tina and we did park fit and and then I started okay so I started running which is weird because I've never run my whole life and I was on a walk one day with my son, Ian, who had been home from college and meaning like they had to come home at the end of last spring. And, um, and I said to Ian, I, I can't run. I haven't been able to run since college. You don't understand if I run, I can't walk for three days. My knees give out. And I, I didn't know what this was. I thought I just have poor joints. I thought I had Lyme disease. I, <laughs> I, just, I just don't run because I can't. And so Ian, my son, who's 20 and was on the running team, he was like, mom, let me see you run. So I, I, he's like, run, you know, to that tree, which was like 100 yards or whatever. Okay, I ran. And he said, mom, you're running wrong. He said, you are running like this from heel to toe and you have to run on your toes. And of course, if you run like this, you're going to get all kinds of joint pain. So I started running and I ran on my toes and I didn't get knee pain. It's insane. I mean, to think that I spent the last 30 years thinking I'm not a runner, I can't run. And the problem was, is that I wasn't coached properly. So think about that. I love having coaches in my life. I love having mentors. I love having coaches. They're gonna push you harder than you would push yourself so that you can make it to the left next level. And this goes with any category, right? This goes with business, this goes to 
um, art, this goes to trade, this goes to physically, this is whatever. I had a mentor as I was going through that program. All right, so then the gyms opened back up and I went in one day and I saw everybody in masks and wearing little bubbles and I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I don't, I don't want to do this. So I didn't do it. So you guys, I am here on live to make a commitment to you to get back into fitness. So what have I done? I have done my MED, minimum effective dose. And you know what it turned out to be for me? Now, what is my effective dose? It doesn't mean for my body, it means for my brains, my mental health, my, um, my bitchiness. <laughs> so um, it, if I don't work out, I am grumpy and I know that about myself. So I, I, I started doing my minimum effective dose, which I haven't done my whole life, right? I push myself and I push myself hard and I do body pump and I do like all these, you know, stations and things like that. Um, so my minimum effective dose was to run one mile. That takes like, and when I say run, I mean jog. Okay, let's be clear. And I can make my tea and be back in 10 minutes and that was my minimum effective dose. And I've been doing that for several months. And um, thank God that I had been doing that program because my body has kind of like not derailed completely but I need to get back to it. So I'm making a live commitment. And what I'm gonna ask you guys who are watching this is to make, renew a commitment or renew a new version of what you're doing. Take it to the next level, add something, whether you're adding, uh, maybe you haven't been doing anything, add a walk. And by the way, getting outside in nature and touching trees and sitting, you know, sitting outside afterwards was amazing. I could not have had my sanity through this if I wasn't actually outside in nature. So I'm gonna ask you guys to make, I'm gonna make a commitment and I'm gonna ask you guys to make a commitment. So I bought some home equipment that's been in the box and I'm going to reveal what I actually bought and, um, and ask you guys, you guys with me to make this commitment to yourselves, whatever version of it you're going to do. And then I'm gonna show you how athletes work out and how to amplify your workout. This is what football players are doing. This is what soccer players are doing. This is what Olympic athletes are doing. Um, and you can amplify your output. So what I actually bought, a friend of mine taught, told me about this, and it's called this, and it's called the X3. I didn't know if it was 3X or X3. Um, and supposedly, again, I'm gonna, you know, be the test person. I'm the perfect test person because I haven't been in the gym for so many months. So I will actually test this and see if it works. So there's like a 12 week workout, right? No, four weeks and then it's 12 weeks altogether. So four weeks you start small and then 12 weeks you amplify it. And it looks like this. It is a, <laughs> all right, it's not working very well. A plate, okay and then a band. Now, supposedly the banded workouts are going to improve your workout. So let's say I'm doing a chest press and I'm, I'm lifting that bar. The bar is the same weight, whether it's low or high, okay? But with the band, obviously, as you start to uh, bring the band closer to you, you're going to have less, what's, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Less stress on that band, okay? So you're getting different points at different, so supposedly, this is supposed to amplify your workout. Um, I can't say that I've tried it yet. I am here to make my, I've tried it, all right? But I'm here to take my before and after pictures and I'm here to make my 12 week commitment to you guys. And I'm gonna ask you guys to make a 12 week commitment too. Jay, 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 we need to connect. Jay is my athlete, Jay. Okay, so this is, this is what it looks like. And there's basic workouts and then there's taking it to the next level. So. This is my commitment. I'm going to start doing this. I might go back to the gym. I don't know. I just, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to amplify what I'm doing in my own home and I will share the results with you. Now, Jay, I wish I knew how to add you because I would bring you on right now. Um, I'm going to go through what an athlete does to work out. And um, Jay, we got we to gotta get you on because... Jay is, you know, I share Jay's story with you guys, how he came to the Rockford Institute, kind of unhealthy, and uh, completely, completely transformed his life and has completed 
Last time I saw you, Jay, it was, I believe, 56 marathons, okay? And you're cracking me up. Like, we, we took a poll the other day. How many of you have completed virtual marathons? Um, <laughs> all right, so here's how you're going to amplify your workout. Before you go work out, you're going to take a little bit of Breathe Essential Oil, mix it with your fractionated coconut oil, and put it on your chest. This is going to open up your, your respiratory, your capacity in your lung, your lung capacity or your respiratory system, okay? The next thing that you're going to do is take your cypress oil, the oil of circulation, and this is good for people struggling with heart disease, that kind of thing. You're gonna put it on the bottom of your feet, okay? That's your, to amp up your circulation. You're going to take, what am I missing? I'm missing one. Breathe, oh, you're gonna breathe it in, first of all. So you're opening up your lung, you're opening up your circulation, and then you wanna amplify your mood. So whatever oil is going to lift you up during your workout, it might be lemon, it might be passion, it might be motivate. Um, yay, you have some in your car. I know I'm missing one. Joelle, what am I missing? Lemongrass? Oh yes, lemongrass, um, you can dilute that and put it on your joints, and this is your joint protection. Lemongrass, deep blue, we actually taught a, a really fun, Joel and I taught a really fun rollerball class at my gym, pre all this stuff, and we had them do that. We had them made, make rollerballs to put on their joints. So maybe your shoulder bugs you or your knees bug you. You're gonna do the lemongrass, you're going to do the deep blue, and then your uh, ginger is another good one. Diluted, of course. And then you're gonna put the cypress on to improve your circulation, and then you're going to do the breathe. Put a little bit of a dilute on your chest, and take a hit of it. Peppermint, yes, peppermint's going to elevate you. It's really going to give you energy, so peppermint is a good one. Patchouli, patchouli is great, Kelly, if you love it. Like if it's the oil that gets you going, that motivates you, absolutely. Um, and in my exercise, I, I was doing a, like a, what do you call it, circuits class before, and they, you know, of course I would come in just smelling like oils every day, but it does amplify it and it does absolutely take it to the next level. Okay. We're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go to light therapy. Is everybody good with exercise? Oh, let me show you this. I was out in California last summer. No, not last summer, two summers ago, um, before all this stuff went down and I was at a big JJ Virgin event. Dr. Mercola was the honorary lifetime, whatever his award was, and he was one of the keynote speakers. And he said for anybody working out over 50 that they should be doing this. And it was something that I was taking to the gym and what it is, is you take these bands and you put them, look online to get some specific in instructions around this, but you say you put them over your, like above your bicep and, and then you actually are doing your bicep curl, okay? It's actually bringing blood flow to your bicep, the muscle that you are working on. And then when you're done, you release it and, and it shoots blood back into it. And it's actually really good for people uh, in their heart health, right? Keeping, um, keeping their hearts healthy. So that was something Dr. Mercola introduced us to. There's also one for the legs. So when I was working my lower body, I would put this on, I would do the workout and then I would release it as well, okay? I grabbed my um, posture, my neck, I'm sorry, my back brace. It's not a brace, it's this thing to help you, remind you that of keeping good posture. And so I'll sometimes, I don't know if I can do this on camera, but I'll try, put this on. And I, I can't, let me tell you, when you guys, when you put this thing on, it, um, it works muscles that you're not used to working. And so it, I can only keep it on for about two hours. So I'll put it on when I'm using the computer. Sometimes I'll put it on when I go for a walk, but this helps keep our posture because so many of us are at a computer too long and we really need to open up, open up our backs. And so I will wear this for a couple hours a day. So that's really helping with the, with the posture. There was something that, um, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? I didn't bring it down here, but maybe I'll, I'll post a picture of it later. Oh, shoot, I forgot it. I'm working in my basement. Like if I was in my office, I'd have all my stuff, but I have to bring everything down here when I go live for you guys. So, as, you know, every once in a while I'm like, oh shoot, should have brought that. Um, exercise. So again, when you're doing a workout and you're going for a result, 
you, I did, like my vegan program, I had to amplify, get more calories than I was used to taking in. And there is something that I started to do, um, and I did it really easily as I was brewing my tea in the morning, and it's, I think it's called Jaws or Size. I'll, again, I'll post a picture of it. But we have to exercise the muscles in our face, right? So if you want your line, your jaw to be tight here, if you tighter, if you wanna have that more youthful look, we have to keep those muscles. So as I'm doing something like a, a squat, I'm making funny faces, right? I'm like, ah. <laughs> and there's even face yoga that you guys can do. And then I have this little blue thing that I chew on in the mornings as I'm walking around the kitchen. Everybody just looks at me like, oh God, what's mom up to now? And it's called Jazzercise. And I, I swear, so my kitchen's been renovated. It's been completely torn apart since July. And I have not been Jazzercising either. You know, it's one of those things like, okay, well, you know, got put in a bucket somewhere and I'll get back to it. And so <laughs> I was looking at old pictures and I actually had some like muscle tightness or um, you could see, you can just see the difference. With any of the stuff I'm talking about, you guys, take pictures. So take a picture. My face is like now rounder this year than it was last year um, because I was jaws sizing. So it's hard. It's not easy to do. Um, yeah, you can do it with a mask on. You, you still might look kind of funny, like the mask is, like you, you probably look like you're chewing a big old piece of gum at the gym. Um, but I like to do at least 100 reps on jaws or size. Sometimes I like to get up to 200 per day. That's kind of my goal. And I kind of treat it like you're doing a bicep curl, meaning you might just go up like real slowly, up, down, you know, down, down, up, one, you know, I'll count to 10. And then maybe I will, so like you do a bicep curl and you go fast down and then slow up. So I might do that like a clamp down and then go one, two, three as I open back up and then clamp down and I go one, two, three. And I might um, clamp down and just do like little mini ones like And that really helps keep your face nice and toned, okay? Um, so I was, I was debating like, should I actually talk about that in like when I do the facial stuff or should I talk about it now with the exercise stuff? So I think it's actually appropriate to talk about it for both. It's a cool little thing, it works. You can look at people's before and after pictures, take pictures of yourself. It's easy to do, you don't have to like, all this stuff, by the way, like you don't have to go out of your way. Like, you, you know, I'm already wandering around my kitchen making my tea, now just jaws or sizes you're doing that. Um, so that's fun. All right, last thing we're going to talk about is uh, infrared and light therapy. I am a huge, massive fan of light therapy because it works and can literally, you know, think about the inside of your body, right? It's dark and it's damp and those are really good conditions for mold to grow when we, when we, when they examine what's in people's cancers. Well, what's in it? Uh, heavy metals, plastics, mold, and your body's working to try to encapsulate that. What do athletes do? I started to go there. Oh, I did go there, Randall. I did go to the breathe, the cypress, and the, uh, lemongrass and the blue, deep blue for the joints. That's what the athletes do. Okay, um, where was I? Okay, see, I'm one lane at a time. All right, so we're back to, <laughs> back to light therapy. Um, I became turned on to light therapy years ago when, as I've shared with you, my friend Linda Zeller healed her cancer. And one of the main things that she did was the soaky bed. I actually interviewed Linda not that long ago because I had um, a handful of friends that were in a healing crisis. And one of my friends, actually, I loaned her my soaky bed. So my soaky bed, is, it's a Japanese bed. It's about the size of a massage table. And yeah, no worries. <laughs> Sometimes I probably just didn't put the words together. Now here's what the athletes do. I just went right into it, just dove right in. So thanks for clearing that up. Um, I, I loaned her my, my, my soaky bed. So she's had it for several months. She and her husband came over and spent like two days at my house. And this is the thing, you guys. When you, hop, when you get in a healing crisis, this is when people call me, right? And, and I, I'll end up like on a phone call for an hour and a half. Oh my God, start this, start this. Like get the Chinese herbs, get the blah, blah. And you don't want that. Okay, you want things in place, you know, want to know what to do before th things go awry. And these are people that probably um, 
didn't think that things were going to go going to go awry. They were too young. This shouldn't be happening in their life. Everything's going great, and then boom, life interrupts them. Um, yeah, Rachel. If you guys, yeah, Rachel loves the soapy. She says I always have it at the Rockford Institute so that people can go do therapy treatments in the soaky bed with the chi machine. All right, so I bought that when I'm about when I moved into this, this house, so about 10 years ago, and I've had the soaky bed ever since. It is, you know, I used to use soaky bed treatments with people when I was seeing clients at Naya, and that was cool because we could look at, oh, thanks Kelly, um, we could look at their before and afterwards. So we would look at, so I'll give you one example. This woman had 11 tumors on her liver. We put her on six weeks of raw. She went into 65 hour treatment in the soaky bed, which is what you do. You're basically in there for four days. You only get out to go to the bathroom and to eat something real quick a couple times a day. You go back in, we're inducing a fever. You know, Hippocrates says, give me a fever, I'll heal any disease. So I would, you know, people would get their own soaky beds. I wasn't doing it back then. They'd get their own soaky beds, but I would coach them through it. And then, um, and this woman had 11 tumors on her liver. And after that six weeks of raw, she went and did another thermography and, uh, and a PET scan. And she went from 11 tumors down to one and all of the tumors in her breast completely cleared. So when, when we're talking, I'm not making claims again, you guys, you, you don't just do one thing, okay? You don't just go on Chinese herbs. You don't just do oils. You don't just go in the soaky bed. You don't just, you know, get a clean diet. You do all of it, right? You do all of it. You gotta, you gotta roll it all in. And what actually at the end of the day healed you? Well, probably all of it. You know, combination of all of these things. Um, yeah, soaky bed and a chi machine. So huge, huge fans of that. So again, it's not in my house. I can't show it to you right now. So what else do I do? I showed you yesterday for the teeth. And then today I'll show you my Biomat. Um, I'll put some links below. I don't sell a Biomat, but I have a friend who does. And you can contact um, Emily and Andrew. They sell a couple things. All right, so this is the Biomat. I keep it beside my bed and how I, it's like this big, right? You can buy a bigger one. You can get it. <laughs> you can get one that's the full body, so it's kind of like the length of a massage table, or you can get one, a double one. I have friends who have double ones. And I, but how I use it, you're, you can put it on low, and it's kind of like a really nice heating pad during the winter months. Or yeah, Peggy loves her biomat. Um, to get a therapeutic result, to make you sweat, you're gonna put it on high. You're gonna crank it up to the highest one. I actually can't even tolerate the highest one, so I'll go second to highest. And hi, Cheryl. And and I will do it right away when I'm tired, so I flop into bed, and then I, um, I, so sorry, Corey says she's got the full biomat, very cool. Um, you guys know Corey shared with you her experience that she was going through a cancer, and so she has the full biomat. But anyway, I'll do it right before I hop into bed, and so what happens is it goes on high for two hours, because if I didn't do it when I was really, really, really tired, I wouldn't be able to tolerate the heat. So after two hours, it, it shuts off. It, it, you can go longer, you can go six hours, eight, 10, 12, but I will set it for a two hour timer and I'll put it really high. I will wake up dripping in sweat. So you'll have to, you know, you wanna wear something cotton, change your cotton t-shirt, but that is where you're going to get the therapeutic results. So what is light therapy doing? It's opening up the capillaries improving circulation, improving your body's, your body's uh, production of nitric oxide, which is nature's antioxidant. And so it has all of these super healing properties. Light therapy is hands down where it's at. Okay. Um, I, so that Emily and Andrew, I got that from. I also got a smaller one, probably the most economical one. My friend Andrew has his own company. And I'll have to bring Andrew on a live too because he knows so much about light therapy. I don't know where that one is. These were in my bedroom. So somewhere in the construction, <laughs> tucked in a basket in my living room, is the one I got from Andrew. So it's a little square one. I believe it's around $300. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's $350 or $400. But that's probably the most economical. Um, I don't even know. I've had the Biomat for so long. I don't have any idea how much they are anymore. Um, so I can't, I mean, I think I paid like 750, but it could be up to a thousand dollars. I'm really not sure. So you'd have to check on that. All right. The next one that I like is a medical piece of equipment and it's also light therapy. You guys, I should seriously be making commissions on all this stuff, right? <laughs> um, so my son, all two of my sons struggle with acne. 
and I bought this for Ian's acne. And so again, when you're using any of this stuff, you have to be persistent and consistent. So there's three different settings. There's one for acne, there's one for wrinkles and anti-aging, and the third one is for um, healing. So this is, I know, right? <laughs> this is the Saluma. Okay, so I, I think these are around $1,500. I, my friend Chip wanted one at the same time, and so I think we got a discount because we bought two or something like that. And we only could buy them because we both have businesses. So because I actually hire massage therapists for my retreats and Chip's wife is actually a massage, massage therapist, Deb, um, yours was over 2000 Insurance paid for it because of a car accident. Wow, that's interesting. That's so interesting, Corey. Um, so Chip and I both got kind of like a little discount on this. So... This is really powerful for anti-aging, okay? Um, how do I use it? Well, I put my meditation on. You know when you wake up in the morning but you just don't feel like getting out of bed? Anybody else? Okay, so put a meditation on and Kat says, you turned me on the saloon, I bought it, love it, thank you. Um, you know who else? Kathy, Kathy uh, down, at, down in Florida, you guys, Kathy's skin, I don't know how old Kathy is. I don't even, I doubt, I don't think she's on. I didn't see her name coming up today. Um, she has been on this week at different points. But um, yes, infrared, I'm gonna get to that, Randall, don't let me forget. So I put my meditation on. I, this goes on for about 35 minutes. Should I plug it in? You guys wanna see this? I travel with it. I really love this. I'm telling you, it will tighten up your skin. This is really cool. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. All right, so it's really easy. You just turn it on, and then um, acne is blue light, wrinkles is red light, and then there's aches and pains. So if you had like a backache or a shoulder ache, you can put it right on that, and you can do this while you're working. You can do this pretty much anywhere, and so then I'll put on wrinkles, and then I push start. I do have goggles, eye goggles that go over my face that are upstairs, and then I go, <laughs> isn't that cool? I go right under this. Um, and I, I kind of prop it up on my pillow so it goes like this again light don't don't use this with your oils you want it, your oils to go on afterwards not before okay and this is going to really I mean this is probably one of the most profound things that you can do to keep your skin nice and tight and so you're helping with your jaws sizer, right you're building muscles and then with the collagen production right when I teach my online facial class with hyaluronic acid, it's so cool. Um, this helps with the collagen production as well. So this is the Saluma. I should get Kathy on to do a testimonial. She was like, oh my gosh, between, I taught at the Rawford Institute how to make their own hyaluronic acid serum, um, which, is, which is, by the way, what they use, like if you go to a spa, they will inject you with hyaluronic acid. I've never been injected. Okay, so I make a topical hyaluronic acid and I put essential oils in it, really restorative, reparative oils, and put it on and it's, and with aloe vera and rose, uh, rose water, all these really cool things and it's absolutely amazing. And um, at the Rock Institute, I taught everybody how to make that. They went back to the room, they got to take it and use it all week long. And Kathy's skin, is ridiculously, I mean, she looks, it's so tight. Like it just looks so good. Um, I th I don't, I'm not gonna say how old you are, Kathy, cause I actually don't know. I just know you look stinking good. So um, that's that. Okay, questions. Oh, no, no, Randall had a question about the infrared saunas. Yes, infrared saunas are amazing. I had one for many years. And I moved it because I used to have a store and things like that. And I moved it so many times between my house and the store that the, the walls didn't come together anymore. I ended up selling it to someone because he like, it was a construction guy and he could put the walls together. I, I would like to get one. Um, I know April is, is on here sometimes, April Beeman. She just put a, one of old, you know, the steam saunas. I don't want to say old fashioned because it's really cool. And they put it outside. And then right next to it, they put a cold bath. If you've never done an ice bath, that is something to behold, right? When I was in uh, Costa Rica doing my ayahuasca ceremonies, we, we also did an ice bath and like learned the Wim Hof breathing technique while we were there. So, um, hey Tweety, nice to see you. 
Um, another thing, you know, here's, okay, so two challenges. I'm gonna wrap up with this. And if you guys have any questions, post it right now, because I'm gonna wrap up. So two challenges. One is to get a 12-week program going, commit to doing something new for exercise, and then also commit to doing something new. So for example, I, t I think I shared this yesterday, I went, the, I'll post pictures, I went the day before and I did cupping and acupuncture. I've wanted to do cupping for a long time and so I went and did cupping. It's really fun. Oh, uh, there's April, ice baths, crazy. <laughs> April, I'm gonna come over to your house and we should do a sauna and ice bath or roll around the snow or something like that. <laughs> April is our, um, for our team, she does a lot of uh, breast health, right? Because she has a thermography business. If you're in the local area or within an hour at least or whatever in the state of Connecticut, um, go see April because she can, you know, give you a, a with thermography measuring the heat of your breasts because you want to catch things before they take off, right? So if you've got some heat, you, you know that you can go after that. You know you can go after putting some Lugol's iodine. Lugol's iodine is a good thing to put on the breasts anyway. Um, essential oil protocols. Somebody asked me to, to post the essential oil protocols for breast health. Um, I will do that. And April, you can comment on that too. To maybe you've, you know, you've been doing this now for quite a while. Maybe you've upgraded or um, changed it since we, we first started working on breast health protocols. Or maybe you've discovered some new stuff. So anyway, breast health protocols. You guys, there's so many things to talk about, right? So... Um, we're on day six and we are, we have one day left tomorrow. I'm going to recap everything. So how do you put this into your life? Um, I know some of you have ordered oils, some of you haven't. I will show you the best way to get oils. So I will cover that tomorrow. Some of you might want to go through my, my online, my paid course for the Raw Food Institute. So we'll give you an extra special pricing on that if you wanna do that. I just want to lay out all the options for you. So if you want to take your health to the next level, if you want to continue with this journey, and then if you want us to run other pro want me to run other programs, um, let me know what you'd like to see as well. And we can start working on that with me and my team. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for all the hearts and the love and the camaraderie and the fun and sharing your photos. I'm seriously loving what you guys are creating in your kitchens it's great to see it's really really fun so thank you for that and i will see you tomorrow at noon with one great big wrap-up session i'll see you guys there i just love watching the hearts <laughs> thank you guys thank you thank you thank you i love these